I was asked to do a little video on Cards for a Cause and the fundraiser that I did about a month ago. I sent out some emails to some organizations in our area telling them about Cards for a Cause, what it is, um, what the products are, and how it would benefit their company. So if you don't know anything about Cards for a Cause, what it is is a fundraiser where you can purchase um, a box of cards. There's 30 cards in each box and it's $30. So each card has embellishments on it, they look homemade, they're wrapped with their envelope to match. It's a really good deal. And there's an option of three different boxes that you can choose from. So as I sent out these emails, I didn't um, do much more than just kind of explain what it is and why I think that it would be great. And one of the reasons I said was because I think it's such a unique fundraiser. A lot of sports teams and a lot of... Um, high school teams, a lot of different places do the same kinds of fundraising around here and so I thought it would be good to do cards. So I heard back from an, a gymnastics organization and they were interested. I met up, I set up an appointment with her and she had told me that there were 150 girls <clears throat> that would be participating and so I got 150 manila envelopes and I printed out an uh, order form and you can find those in back office and I taped them onto the order form or the order form onto the manila envelope and took them to her. A lot of people will suggest putting a sample card in each envelope and I think that's a great idea. I wasn't prepared to do that with 150 quite yet, um, especially since we didn't quite know where it was going to go. So instead, I gave her a sample box, and she kept the sample box up by her desk. So as parents were coming in and out to pick up their kids from gymnastics, they could kind of shuffle through it and see what it was. Um, and that worked out good for us. So I dropped those off to her, and she did everything from that point on. I had asked her if she wanted me to set up some sort of presentation for the girls and for their families so they could kind of see what we were selling. She didn't see how that would work with her organization just because people were always in and out. If you were doing a fundraiser with a smaller group of people, I would suggest maybe having some sort of a meeting where you explain what it is and let people see it so they can kind of get excited about the product as well. So after I dropped off the envelopes, she had decided um, to make the fundraiser about a week long. And then at the end, well, I checked in with her in the middle and at the end, and then at the end, I called her. We set up another appointment, and I came, and um, we talked about how much it sold, and the actual um, turnout of the sales were not what I was hoping for or expecting. However, um, because of this, they want to do a Cards for a Cause fundraiser probably every year. And so this was kind of a trial basis. I learned for next year I will definitely... Um, do more than one box because there are three options in your boxes um, of boxes and I only had one box to show. The kids box is full of birthday cards and that was really fun and that's not the one I had for a sample. Um, so I would probably have all three cards to sample. I also learned that we we're going to start earlier. Um, with, with this fundraiser that I did, I, I offered prizes for the top three sellers. I did a $20, a $15, and a $10 gift certificate, and um, I did it to my website. Once I got the order forms from her, she tallied them up and put them on a sheet of paper that you can also print off from back office. It's pretty simple. You fill it out, or she can fill it out, and you put how many ordered each box. Um, box one, box two, and the kids box. And that's pretty much all it takes to put it into Order Pro. When you go to Order Pro, when it says what type of sale it is, instead of Home Show, you would put Cards for a Cause. And then on that, you'd be able to say how many ordered each box. And then when you have a total, it'll tell you how much the organization owes you that you need to owe, that you need to pay as one. Um, it was very simple, very easy. I had it shipped directly to the organization. I didn't even deal with that. If it was a smaller type of business, I probably would have had it done to me, or if it were more orders, I might have helped organize it more. But um, this organization was very independent and didn't really want or need a lot of extra 
um, help with it. So you do get 10% of the $30 for each box sold. Um, the company gets to keep $13 of each box sold and um, depending on taxes. But overall, it was a really easy fundraiser. It was really easy to do, and it was definitely worth my time. Um, I would recommend reaching out to organizations or finding sports teams, finding anything that anyone or anything that would like to raise some money and offer this. It's a great way to do it.